it's a sanctuary. It's a true sanctuary out of a truly horrible thing that was done by humanity to the bay. So we're uh, right on the Albany Bulb, which is a piece of land that didn't used to exist. Um, back in the 1960s, the early 60s, the city of Albany leased this space to the Santa Fe Railroad Company. Uh, at that time it was just water. It was a, a narrow promontory heading out into the San Francisco Bay. And the railroad company uh, used this, this space as a, as a dump for construction debris. Concrete and rebar and iron bars. Um, and uh, it built up into a, just a pile of, of, this, of this trash. And it was literally a dump, and just a dump, from 1963 to 1983. Uh, in, the, in the early 1980s, the, the state closed the place down. And over time, you know, bird guano and washed up seaweed and things like that uh, it became dirt. And the dirt grew grass and trees and people came out here and began to live. You've got to live with nature. You can't live despite it or instead of it. Otherwise, just live in town. It is, it is incredible. You know, it's so colorful. You walk around and paint everywhere. People have painted all sorts of stuff. Pictures, words, tagging, spontaneous things like that. The, the, some of the sculptures that people have made these things. It's crazy, you know. It's it's important to have a space that is free, where where people can go and just be. From uh, from the 80s on, cops in Berkeley and Albany have been telling homeless people, you can't be downtown. You can't be a place where people can see you. You got to go to the Albany Bulb. In '85, the city of Albany entered into a 30-year contract uh, with the State Parks Department that projected an eventual transfer of the Albany Bulb to the state parks. The Sierra Club and citizens for the East Shore State Park are using that 30-year timeline to justify kicking homeless people out now. The general plan for the East Shore State Park, which is what they want to make this a part of, uh, is real plain. It's got a trail that you can, from what I understand, drive out on and then drive all the way around the Bulb on. Um, yep, uh, on, along the shore and somehow get back out of here, I guess. And it's got vistas and viewpoints and stuff, uh, places where there's people's camps right now, you know? And, and in the eyes of the recreationalists, so-called recreationalists, um, part of recreation is not existing. In addition to the 50-ish people who live here right now, um, a ton of people come out every day. Uh, one recent weekend, we were collecting signatures, and over the course of two hours, 200 people who don't live here uh, came here to just enjoy the space. It doesn't need some sort of radical change to be public space. It is public space, and it's being used in a unique and pretty wonderful way given the lack of affordable housing in the Bay Area. But it already is a really cool kind of park. It's a, it's a very active park. It's a really unique human and natural ecosystem. It is safe here, and, and we're people too. <laughs> if they can be talked to, we can be talked to. And we're just people, we're just like them. We just want somewhere to sleep that is safe, that isn't the Berkeley shelter that's had bed bug problems and was declared seismically unsafe. We'd have to get rid of everything but what we could fit on either bike trailers or backpacks. And that's, nobody should be reduced to only that. It feels good to have a home. Nobody wants to lose their home. And, and we don't feel that people should stay away from the park just because our home is here. We can share the bulb. That does sum it up pretty good, I guess, share the bulb. <laughs>